Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start up Visual Studio and wait for the software to come up. And once this comes up, we're going to go under the File menu and select to create a new project. Now once you bring up the new project menu, you're going to see several different project types. Um, in subsequent videos and other classes, I'll explain all these other types. But for this particular exercise, we're going to select the console application. So in addition to selecting the type, I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. And for those of you who have done this several times, Hello World is, is usually the first project, and this won't be an exception here. So we'll go ahead and select uh, OK after we've put in our project name. Oh, and it looks like I already have a project called Hello World, so I'll call it Hello World 1. So, now that I've created the project, you can see that Visual Studio brings up uh, a stub that has our program.cs, and CS stands for C Sharp file. And we also have the Solution Explorer that shows the basic uh, properties and, and components of the program, but Visual Studio has put all that together for us. So in our case, um, we're just going to add some code to this, and it's going to be a very simple program since this is our very first program. And we're going to type in a, a command that will actually print out the string hello world. Now, that command is contained in a namespace in system.console.out. And as I'm typing this in, you'll notice that the IntelliSense, or the... Um, uh, Visual Studio's IntelliSense actually tries to help me find where this package is located. So I'll spend some more time on that um, in, in a subsequent lesson. So system.console.out. And the very final command is, oh, looks like Java wants to update my program, so I'm going to say no. right line. So again, IntelliSense now uh, it brackets both of these with uh, uh, the parentheses, and I'm going to put in my string now. And all, you'll notice I have to add one more thing at the end, which is a semicolon, because all commands in C Sharp end with a semicolon. So this is our first program, so now to actually compile this thing, I'm going to go under the build menu and select build solution. Down at the bottom I don't see any errors so and it, and it indicates in the very lower left hand corner that the build was successful. So now to actually run this program I can go under the debug menu and I, I can select start without debugging. When I do that you'll notice a console window pops up and puts out our string that we just wrote saying hello world followed by a line that says press uh, any key to continue. So I'll do that. And just to go through the exercise one more time, I'll add one more string here at the end uh, just to make a simple change to the program. And once again, I will execute that and say start without debugging. And again, our console window puts up uh, the string with the, the newly added exclamation point at the end. And that really is our first program. So now I'm going to save everything that I've done. I'll go under the File menu and select Save All. And to close out Visual Studio, I'll then exit the program. So that short, brief exercise was really the Hello World, the classic Hello World program in C Sharp, showing how you can bring up Visual Studio and execute your very first program. In subsequent lessons and, and in other courses I will take you through detailed step-by-step -step instructions on the C Sharp programming language, all the constructs to make more complex programs in, in different forms, uh, such as not just the console program, but a, uh, a web application, uh, a mobile application, and some others. So look for that in my uh, upcoming classes, and I'll see you then. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.